Hi everyone, it's me, Jason. When I was in college, I had this uh, physics professor who really knew how to engage a class. One day, he walked in the class with not just a physics book, but this huge tray of wires and a large cylinder that sat right in the middle. Uh, when he got into class, he took uh, one wire from the tray and he plugged it into the wall, and then he uh, took two other wires and, and pulled it from the pile and then connected it to this huge giant uh, cylinder. He then reached over and grabbed this long stick of metal. I remember he said, this is a capacitor, and then dropped the metal on top of the cylinder. The sound and the sparks were tremendous. I mean, we're talking about a, a huge capacitor. All of us that were still daydreaming were immediately brought into the present very quickly. This didn't phase him at all. He didn't even crack a smile. He put the piece of metal down. He grabbed the wires, he charged it up again, and then he said, all right, who wants to come up and lay your finger across the lead? There was one guy who stood up. Now, I'm not really sure if he's just brave or he understood electronics or he just knew that the professor wouldn't let him die, but he walked up to the front of the class, slowly approached the capacitor, he took his finger and went to lay it across the leads, and about that time, the old professor dropped his big, thick physics book down to the floor. When it hit the floor, everyone in class jumped one more time and there was one student who had probably soiled himself. So I took two things away from that course. One, I never forgot what a capacitor was after that. And two, what I realized was that I never forgot the experience of that class. And every class I would take after that, and every class I would make after that, I would compare to that class and that professor and the time that he took to really craft an experience for everyone in it. So today I've got a really big announcement to make. The VoIP class that I've been developing is finally ready. It is the Skinny Research and Development VoIP Fundamentals course. This class is really geared toward the security technician in mind. And when I say technician, I mean it. I mean the guys who want to get their hands dirty, who want to figure out what's going on with this technology. If you like multimeters, if you like soldering, uh, if you like playing with Wireshark, packet analysis, uh, if you've always wanted to figure out how to trunk PBXs together, how to program PBXs, what exactly can those things do, then this is the class that you've been looking for. So a few questions you might have. First, what will you learn? Day one, we're going to look at the basics, okay? We're talking about old school telephony. We're going to look at networking. Uh, we're going to look at IP addressing. Uh, but also, we're going to do it in a different way. We're going to build our own network taps. We're going to build our own infrastructure. We're going to sniff network traffic, so you'll see what kind of web pages I've been visiting lately. Day two, it's all about VoIP protocols at that point. We're going to start looking at SIP. RTP, SDP, we're going to break back conversations. Uh, we're going to look at soft phones, hardware phones, mobile soft phones. Also, we're going to look at processing and capturing audio and exactly what that process looks like when you speak into a microphone and how that becomes the VoIP digital signal. Day three is lemur day. Everybody's going to get a lemur. We're shipping them in from Madagascar. You want, what's that? What do you, import restrictions. <sighs> What are we going to replace the lemurs with? Day three is really PBX day. We're going to be building PBXs. We're going to be programming those PBXs. We're going to be using VirtualBox to do it. We're going to be programming phone instruments, adding extensions. We're going to be trunking things together. We're going to look at features that will make your skin crawl as a security technician. Day four and five is going to be a flurry of different activities. Uh, we're going to be using the Raspberry Pi. We're going to be programming PBXs in strange configurations. We're going to be looking at different technologies like analog telephone adapters and programming those. We're just going to look at a, a bunch of different VoIP topics. Uh, day four Five, we're going to have a uh, full class uh, challenge, kind of like a, a capstone project type of thing. Uh, it's going to be uh, a, just a great time. If you're looking for an outline of the entire course and you want some more details, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description so you can click on that and follow up. Where is the class? Well, the class is going to be here in Tampa, Florida in my new adopted hometown. It's just 30 minutes from the beach, so uh, that's kind of a, a bonus. However, if you don't want to make it to Tampa or you can't make it to Tampa, that's okay because I'm also offering a mobile class. If you could put together at least five people, uh, then I would be willing to travel to you in order to deliver the class. Uh, I'll bring the hardware, I'll bring the software, I'll bring everything with me. There's a few requirements um, that I would need on your part, but if you want details on that, if you'll go down to the description, I'll have a link down there. When is the class in Tampa? The first run of the class is September 14th through the 18th. If you can't make it then, Propose a new date. If you had at least five students and uh, you would all, you would like to come to the class but your kids can't make it that week, let me know and we'll schedule out a different date. If you would like to schedule a class for a different date, and this goes for mobile training or for training here in Tampa, the earliest that uh, you can schedule that will be June of 2015 and uh, anytime after that. 
And you can call me anytime after today to schedule uh, whatever class you'd like. Next question, will we get to use the DEI claw? Hello? You have reached the offices Hello, DEI? of DEI. We are currently unavailable due to an office relocation to Moscow. Please press 1 to speak with an export control officer. The real question is, is, is this a security course? And no, not exactly. This is a course for security technicians to learn VoIP. The first thing about this is, in order to be able to know how to treat a VoIP system uh, to implement countermeasures, look at it from a defensive position, you need to know how it works. You need to know how all the pieces fit together. Unless you can do that, then you can't really provide an adequate defense. Two, in order to make a class involving countermeasures, it's going to be kind of cost prohibitive at the moment. And I'm building that infrastructure up now and, and making plans for that. But I really can't make that happen unless this course goes well. If you decide, you being the uh, tech community, that this is something that you want, it's something that you, you want to invest in, you want to go to, and you want to learn, um, then a portion of all this is going to be rolled over into the next class so I can build out uh, that really cool uh, defensive course that I, that I have in mind. But this is the first step. Um, it's the first step that everyone needs in order to uh, get to the second step, and it's the first step that I need in order to be able to make that second course happen. But thank you very much uh, for your um, encouragement and comments over the last few months, and I hope to be seeing you in Tampa in September. Thanks.